at my worst and you stay the same Even when I fall, you hold my hand Thank you for loving me for who I am Shalom family, it's your boy Virtuous here and today I want to talk about um, uh, praying in your holy language and finding your holy language. I thought I'd do this video because this seems to be a common um, issue that comes up. A lot of people say that they don't know how to pray in tongues, they don't know how to pray in their holy language, um, they don't know how to go into intercessory prayer. I mean people who've been of the faith for many years they still don't know how to pray in tongues um, and new believers as well so I just want to cover that, that in this video because it seems to be a common thing. So uh, basically, it's a very uh, simple process. If you say the setup prayer, um, there's no there's no real way that you can get it wrong. As long as you say the setup prayer, you can't. Obviously, there is a such thing as demonic tongues, and demonic tongues exist. But if you say the setup prayer prior to going into prayer, um, God's going to come and intercede for you. So uh, there's a scripture that says, "If uh, ask and it is given, knock and you shall shall see. Uh, knock and the door will be um, uh, open to you." The lawnmower is going to start on me. I knew it was going to start. Pleasing God, ignore the lawnmower. So yes, beautiful day. So everyone's obviously out in the garden today. So um, basically, uh, there's a, the scripture says that uh, knock and you shall find. And uh, if you ask for a fish, God, your Father, Heavenly Father, will, is not going to give you something else. So if you ask for tongues, if you ask to have the intercessory prayer go through you, that's what you're going to receive. So if you just say this prayer with me now, the lawnmower is going to ruin my life. Some people would say, say, you know, I just think that the guy just wants to do his garden, he's got his mow his lawn, you know. So, okay. okay, I'm just going to go with it. It seems to have calmed down now. Ho hopefully, it will subside. So, just call forth on the Father now, Heavenly Father, I pray to you right now in Christ. Yahusha, my name, and I ask you to send down your Ruach HaKodesh onto the listener and viewer right now. Send down your spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, and give them the power to start speaking in tongues. Let them let it flow up through them, whatever, whatever comes up. Now, I just want you to, you've asked Heavenly Father through Christ, Yahusha, my name, to send his Ruach HaKodesh, his Holy Spirit to intercede through now. That, through you now that's what you're going to get so just flow with it it doesn't really matter what comes up as long as you're as long as you've said the setup prayer you could effectively say you know what happens as time goes on you'll start to develop it so just try it now just try now just we've said the setup prayer and just try and make whatever sound comes up some people they 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 when they first do it it sounds like a sort of a whisper just go with it go with it flow with it we we do not know what we ought to pray for but the spirit intercedes for us through wordless groans wordless groans whatever those wordless groans are for you just go with it flow with it Shut up, baby, 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 like I say, it may sound, it can sound like any range of things. It doesn't really matter. As long as you say the setup prayer, your prayer language is going to sound different to somebody else's. I've met people who their their, their language, their prayer language sounds like whispers. They're... And then you get people who've got more of a deeper, you know, deeper voice. Just go with it. Whatever comes up, it doesn't really matter. Because like I say, the scripture says it's wordless groans. As long as you... Call forth on the Father through Christ Yeshua, my name, or Christ Yahushua, my name. Um, I use Christ Yeshua, Christ Yahushua, my name, because that's the Hebrew name for Jesus Christ. Um, and the Ruach HaKodesh is the Hebrew name for the Holy Spirit. Um, if you pray and you are calling forth on the Holy Spirit through Christ Yeshua, my name, Jesus Christ, my name, you're going to be given the Holy Spirit and it's going to intercede for you. Whatever you come up with, is the, the, the Spirit is going to charge that with the power. I recommend doing this this uh, prayer technique regularly. 
um, I've got the, the, the how to pray in end times video I'm going to plug the link for that down below and that basically is using this process uh, regularly so just go with it flow with it if you feel it's, it is common to feel a bit stupid a bit silly a bit weird um, uh, and a bit like off key when you're first um, praying and it's also um, like do I feel dumb I'm like a doubt like and uh, if you've got if you've if you're heavily like oppressed by demonic forces and spirits um, from whatever you've been involved in your sin the sins that you were doing prior to coming to Christ it is common to, to do it and 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 then feel skeptical as to whether what you're doing is correct or not but you can't get a demonic like it says in the scripture asking it and it shall be given knock and you shall receive you can't be given a demonic presence or force if you call on the father through Christ yes your mighty name it doesn't matter what what sins or what you've done prior you you are given this free gift through Christ Yeshua through the Holy Spirit coming down upon you and really and truly the the Father the Most High wants us to pray like this because the scripture says we do not know what we ought to pray for but the spirit in itself intercedes for us through wordless groans so it's actually better to pray like this than to pray in your normal english language i pray like this i will say a set up prayer i'll normally pray say i want to pray for this uh, and i'll say this out of prayer and then i'll go into the language i'll go further into that in the how to pray in the end times video that i've plugged below also using this this um prayer technique when you're fasting you're going to have a, a a deep cleansing uh, from all spiritual forces and if you you know against a lot of battling a lot of spiritual warfare praying like this when you're fasting is going to have a massive effect to be brutally honest with you now, now that we're entering the end times, it's, it's imperative that we pray like this regularly. I pray like this daily for, you know, I'm trying to make a minimum of an hour a day. I'm in deliverance. I'm, I'm helping people come against um, witchcraft and demonic forces and, and casting out demons and stuff. So I need to be praying in the spirit regularly. The, the spirit needs to intercede for me regularly. The Holy Spirit speaks to me. He speaks through you and he speaks the perfect prayer for you. So if you want to manifest miracles, this is the perfect technique to, to use it. And... Um, so yeah, I just wanted to go into that today. Like I say, practice, go with it. Your the, the voice that comes up and the sounds that come up, sometimes it's gonna sound like Aramaic, it's gonna sound it might sound Hebrew, it might sound it might not make any sense. You know, some people may even sound like more African and German and but as long as you say the set up prayer prior, you're not gonna get you're not gonna get anything demonic come through. I, I know that obviously Satan takes everything from um the bible and he he basically he, he reciprocates everything but if you yeah, provide and you say this out of prayer you're going to get the spirit intercede for you the holy spirit intercede for you so i hope that's helped just go with it as i say and as time goes on you'll start to gain more confidence in, in praying like that and, and when you get to a stage where i've been praying like that for a while now you'll just want to only pray like that because it edifies you and it charges you and it gives you more of that energy i go more into that in the power of prayer and fasting video which i've plugged down below so watch those two videos as well and i catch you all in in a, another video soon as i say pray like this regularly every day and you'll start to see massive breakthroughs and miracles being performed through your life Yah bless peace love unity faith hope and charity you see me at my worst and you stay the same even when i fall Heals, love wins, defeat death, defeat sin. Christ came, that's when my life changed, that's why I'm all in, because it's all him.